now that I have my wall tags, I need to create a schedule so we can tell whoever's trying to work off this drawing exactly what it is that those tags mean. Now, I don't, as I said earlier, I don't need to do this in any particular order. I could actually have all of these schedules set up in my template file so that it was automatically generated. I'm off to my project browser. I'm down here to schedules and quantities and I'm creating a new schedule and quantity. From my category list, I'm scrolling down and I'm choosing walls and I'm going to call it wall type legend, even though it's a schedule. So legend just the architectural terminology that we're using to say this is the code that we're using on the wall and this is the wall type that that reflects and OK. So in here we have a number of tabs of what information we can include and how we want that set up. I only want to, I want that type mark that we went and had a look at before. Okay, that was the one that said WD1, sorry, WT1 for wall type 1. Keep in mind that I'm just making up these wall type codes and you should make sure that you're creating these codes in accordance with the Australian standards and working drawing techniques. Type mark and I want a description as well. I'm not going to worry about filtering anything, however in the sorting and grouping I want to sort it by type mark, so it goes 1, 2, 3 and 4 in an ascending order. I'm going to uncheck itemise every instance. I do not want to count how many walls I've got. I'm merely, no sorry I don't want that one either. I merely want to see which ones are being used in the project. If I needed to filter out some wall types, for example, I may have created some existing wall types, but I don't want them to, to appear in the legend because they're not new work, I might use the filter, which I'm not doing. So I could filter it out and maybe I've got a special code in type mark. It might have an E for existing, and that would allow me to filter out anything with an E to uh, not appear in the legend. Under formatting, I'm not changing anything. And in appearance, I'm going to turn off the grid lines. I'm going to turn off the headers and I'm going to match the header text and the body text of the notes that I'm using in the project. So the header text should be 3.5 millimetre, ideally um, aerial narrow, but it's I haven't created that to use it. I'd like you to match yours to whatever note style that you use. So the notes I'm using here, aerial 2.5, that's it. So I've unchecked the grid lines because I don't want to see it, I want it just to appear as text. And because, sorry, that one was 3.5, and the header text, I'm actually not showing the header. All I want to see is a legend and then what it is. And OK. Here's our wall type legend. Can you see if I click on it, it allows me to edit and change the name of it if I wanted to. I won't see these headers, I'm only seeing this in the layout and I don't bother too much about changing any of this size wise because this is what I adjust on the sheet. So can you see I've got here the wall types, they're all numbered and then I've got the description and then I can either put that description in as you saw earlier in the edit type of the wall itself as I'm creating it or I can plug that information in here so I can change that if I want to. And if I was to change any of that information, it would ask me if I'm happy for that information to be changed all across every instance of to you know, WD3. However, I don't get a choice. It's just telling me that's what's happening. I'm off to my sheet view now. If I added my floor plan, so I'm right clicking adding a floor plan, FFL, remember that was the one that we created for the presentation of working drawings. Okay, now as you can see this drawing isn't fitting neatly on the page. That's a, another tutorial that should actually be sitting nicer than that. I'm going to add another view, this time it's the legend. So schedule, wall type legend, add view to sheet. And this is where I'm going to adjust the size of each column. So it actually doesn't matter 
too much how you adjust it back in the schedule, this is where I'm going to make it work. It looks beautiful. 